and we're back for the gym challenge. Let's do this. Sadly, you can't put any bikes indoors, so that sucks. But most of the this is actually a pretty easy gym. Now, this is an electric type gym, but there aren't many electric types in the game yet. So kind of sad. Anyway, this is an interesting gym. Mostly because I have a Marshomp, which is way suggested to use. Because this will make the gym incredibly easy. Anyway, step on the switches changes it from this blue to this purple. Not really hard, it's just gotta know which thing to step on. Now, you have to fight at least, if I remember correctly, one person. I'm gonna fight the double battle. Yeah, it's not a good idea to ha use any flying types of god yet because it's. Well, it's an electric type gem, what do you expect? I love shiny! And. If you're wondering why they're using the bug Pokemon in the Messe, well, you'll see. They know the ability. They have the ability to learn Shockwave, which is the that which I sadly have to tell you is the TM for this gym. Hey, that rhymed. And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm gonna teach Shockwave to IQ is 9,000. Also because it learns Thunderbolt, which you can get later in the game. As soon as you learn, as soon as you get the HM Surf. And dang, I hate Magna. Might. So evil. So bulky to every attack I got. Except the fourth round. And, wow, well, I'm actually surprised I could. Thousands already evolved like that. I mean, leveled up. I'm gonna fight this guy just to get some experience. Oh, dang! That was bad. Yeah, Thunderbolt's an awesome thunder move. There's only one move I know that that's stronger than that than Thunderbolt, but it's a little bit inaccurate. And here we go. The fight. Gone through all the rig doors. It's a very easy gym. Seriously. The final gym's not even hard. The 7th gym takes a little bit of a while. I hate that gym. But let's get on with life. Oh, dang. Oh. Far she goes. Now let's destroy everybody. Yay, much shot. I have an Electric, a Voltorb, and... No, we're not going to learn Mudsport. It's a horrible move, especially for a ground Pokemon, because it makes electric type moves weaker, but what's the point? It's immune to it. And now I'm going to do the smartest thing I could ever do in the world. Uh. Okay, seriously, twice? Shockwave, that's an interesting move. It's 60 power, but it has the ability to never, ever miss. So this one in the game is pretty dang good. I mean, there are plenty of people that use the annoying, most annoying moves in the world. In case you're wondering, yes, it's Sand Attack. Anything that lowers... Wow, I did half co after like... After at least three. Calm on. There. Now I'm an electric. Thankfully, wow, my strongest Pokemon is strong. 
Way stronger than Manek Crook. Wow, this is going to be pretty sad. Now here you're going to see they're going to use Citrus Berries a lot on their strongest Pokemon. It's just a move that restores 30 HP, which is at least half of their health. But who cares, I destroyed him from all those Combines. We go on Rock Smash, and we get Game 34. I'm going to heal off screen, I'll meet you in front of the Focus Center. Alright then, I get you on ring. I think that a lot nowadays. I did teach Shockwave, getting rid of Double Team. I've already figured out my entire team for the entire game. Including the final roster. Including the final movesets. And I'm still trying to figure out some moves. Like, I already know the three absolute best moves I could teach for my Swamper. But I have absolutely no clue how the... What the heck is the fourth move? I may go with Bite or something, but... I'll let y'all know as soon as I figure it out. Anyway, after that match, another double battle. Sadly, we're still not going to get any new Pokemon from our team until at least a long time into the game. Now this place is interesting, you can fight four people in a row, so I would suggest sticking out the Pokemon that needs the most experience. Just in this case, follow. Battle the fa whole family and ensure the four battle. The, the Winstray family. First up you got Victor, which is Halo. And Zigzag Game. Not much different from any other trainer in the world. Then you fight the mother, Victoria, because that was a little bit unoriginal. She has this Brasilia, again, easy kill. Then you fight the little daughter. Who is probably even weaker than her father. So I don't know why they stuck our third. Then she goes and cries to your grandma. I'm gonna smack you. And Vicky. Okay, seriously, this is the most unoriginally named family ever. Oh yeah, and remember that guy Steven? This is his family. Yeah, interesting to know, right? And I'm just going to send out IQ's 9000, just get a couple Calm Minds in, destroy them. I know it's going to use Detect, so I'm going to use another Calm Mind. And Confusion to death. Not very hard challenge, but it gives you good experience. If you go in, oh my goodness, RPG logic, you can go into anybody's house. There's no question, but you're strong about my grandson. He's much stronger. He even is probably challenging the champion already. Yeah, if anybody have ever played Ruby, he was the champion. And you can still find him in this game, but he is uh, crazy hard. And his Pokemon are all at least level 70. Let's just heal. Oh yeah, one last thing. Go to this house. In fact, this guy is called the Rock Smash dude. He'll give you, and he'll give, he'll give you HMO six, but you need to get on with the game, sadly. Teach it to slave because he knows everything. And uh, I'll see you next time. Who the heck am I kidding? I can at least show y'all one thing. Okay, you're kidding. Why the heck is there a wild Pokemon in front of a rock? Anyway, if you use Rock Smash here, 
This guy will give you hidden powers. Then, I mean, just strength. Yeah, couldn't say that right. Strength is an amazingly good move. I mean, there are better moves, but since Swampert only knows tackle, I'll definitely recommend doing it because it has 80 base power and get a pretty strong move. Let's just get out of here. Whee! And get on with the game. Just go up here. And I'll see y'all next time.